On the same front, Kevin Corris talked with us Wednesday about seedling issues farmers may be noticing in their corn and soybean fields. Phytophthora and Rhizoctonia can affect soybeans, but Pythium can impact both. And Kevin says 2013 has provided conditions conducive to damage. Well, we had um, the perfect weather conditions this spring for Pythium. Um, we had a lot of soil moisture and our soil temperatures have been cool for quite a long time. Um, so this has slowed the germination of our corn and our soybeans um, and it's, it's just kind of the right kind of soil conditions that Pythium need to cause infection. That's essentially what Pythium does, it just slows it down? Um, no, uh, the temperature is the result, uh, is what slows the germination down um, and so the seedling sits in the soil for a longer period of time um, and if soils are wet or saturated, um, a lot of the leachate that's produced when these uh, seedlings are germinating um, gets into that water and it stimulates germination by these fungal spores. And so the fungal spores have a longer time to sit there and, and cause infection. What are some things that uh, people should be looking for, some signs that they might uh, have? They're going to see fields? stunted and wilted plants if they've come up. Um, they're also going to see skips in their rows. They're going to see areas where the, the plants have not germinated through the soil line at all. So they're going to want to dig down and find that seedling. Um, and they can look for um, some of the symptoms or, of course, send it in for diagnosis. You re recommend sending it in even if a producer, you know, doesn't feel like it's necessary to replant, do you still recommend sending it in? I mean, if, if, if someone um, wants a history of what's going on in their field, you know, in terms of management rec recommendations for the following spring, I, I, would, I would suggest a diagnosis. Um, there are a couple active ingredients um, for seed treatments that are available that protect against Pythium, um, Metalaxyl and Mephinoxam. So if they do have the um, option of getting seeds coated in that for next year, um, that might provide some protection. Not something they would have to do if they decided to replant? Um, you know, if, if someone has uh, some stand loss and they, they want to replant this year, uh, the soil temperatures might be warm enough by the time they get back in there and plant to where we're not going to see as much Pythium. Um, it's not going to be as big of a problem. So they might not need to select for those uh, chemicals this year problems in both corn and soybeans with that. Have you seen a lot of that this year or at least I, some of it? Most of what's coming in is, is caused by Pythium. I haven't seen uh, any of the major other players. Um, I haven't seen Phytophthora and soybean um, or Fusarium or Rhizoctonius yet this year. What but, would those look like if, uh, if they were to exist? Um, Pythium and Phytophthora are very difficult to distinguish between. Um, I would recommend sending in a sample, of course, if you're, if you're concerned about both. Um, very difficult to distinguish just by symptoms alone. Um, Rhizoctonia uh, is unique where it only infects the seedling at the soil line. So right where the soil touches, the soil line touches um, that stem of the plant, you will see a lesion. And the lesion might work its way up and down a little bit, um, but you'll see the initial infection start right at the soil line with Rhizoctonia. In, in all of these, uh, what's optimum soil, uh, or excuse me, what's, uh, what's the best possible sample that you can get in order to ensure optimum results? Well, um, you know, I prefer the whole entire seedling. Um, if you can take uh, two or three or four different samples, that's great. Um, if you can include a healthy plant for comparison, that's, that's also fantastic. And, and the best uh, place to find this pathogen is kind of um, in the zone from where the plants are, are affected to where they're healthy. In that transition zone is the best place to sample to ensure that we find the, the fungus. Thank you.